You know that kid in your class that could not give two hoots about your class dojo or your marble jar or anything else for that matter that motivates the rest of your class? I'm Beth Cunningham Murray and in this episode of Classroom Quick Tips, I'm going to give you my top five tips for dealing with challenging students. Tip number one, build rapport. This may sound easy, but it's often overlooked because let's face it, we're human and those challenging students often have a way of getting under our skin. The best way to stop this from happening is building rapport. In other words, get to know that student that's driving you up the wall. Ask them how their weekend was and they've seen any good movies, you know, things like that. So your interactions with that student don't just revolve around discipline. Marjorie, who do you think is cuter? Harry Potter or Percy Jackson? <laughs> Tip number two, the five to one ratio. According to an article published by the Harvard Business Review, they found that the highest performing teams give their employees between five and six positive comments for every negative one. This is important to keep in mind, especially for those challenging students, when it might seem that all you're seeing are negatives. So you wanna catch them in the positive moments. And that might mean as soon as they walk in your door, oh, thank you for entering the classroom quietly. Or as soon as they're grabbing their pencil, oh, you have your pencil out ready to begin. Catching them in those positive moments will allow you to reframe it so you're giving more positives than the negative. Tip number three, an individualized behavior system. Let's face it, most of us who have been teaching for a while have had a student at one point or the other that needs something more than just words of affirmation. For these students, they're going to need an individualized behavior system. And there's lots of options of what this can look like, which I'm going to make a separate video for. But the most important thing, no matter what you choose, is to get student buy-in. You want a very enticing menu of rewards that your student is really motivated by. And feel free to switch it up whenever you're noticing that maybe the student is losing interest. You know, Domingo, I can tell you don't really like some of these rewards anymore. So what do you say we switch it up? What tickles your fancy? Tip number four, be consistent. A lot of challenging students really need structure and routine. They don't do well with surprises and they really like to know what to expect. So that means it's crucial to have follow through with your behavior systems and your schedules. You wanna make sure you're being vigilant about catching that student in their best moments so there isn't too much time between rewards. Lastly, tip number five, stay calm and keep a behavior log. You have 20 to 30 other students to worry about. <coughs> so when situations arise with your challenging student, take a deep breath, assess the situation, and if possible, try to de-escalate the child so it's not losing instructional time for the rest of the class. Keep a detailed log of the date, the time, the description of the incident, and how you responded to it. This will be really key when you need to get administration or the school psychologist involved for extra support. Please comment below if you have a strategy that has helped change the behavior of a student in your class. I'd love to hear from you. I'm Beth Cunningham Murray, and this has been Classroom Quick Tips. Please subscribe and ring the bell if you enjoyed it. Thank you so much for watching.